Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Capricorn. Oh yeah! <laughs> Alright, so let's see what's coming in for Capricorn season. Alright, for the Capricorns here. Alright, let's see, we have Magician and the Mirror. Perhaps it's time to do some self-love magic in the mirror here and talk with yourself with um, positive uh, intentions um, that you love yourself, you have your self care, you are needing to close out a cycle here and your yin and yang, your person that is your yin to your yang or vice versa. With the master number here, maybe you are ascended master or you have ascended masters helping you with any healing or whatever you are trying to end here. Let's see. We have 53, which goes down to 8. We have the world, which is 29, which breaks down to 11. And we have 22 which breaks down while well, it's a master number so it stays at 22 so we have 11 and 22 which are both master numbers and the bottom of the deck we have angel of love so <laughs> if you are looking to have love you're going to need a red candle to bring your love affirmations in and bring in your soulmate or your twin flame let's have a look here for Cappy. I want to say thank you to all of the Capricorns for helping with the channel by watching the videos. Huh, somebody is doing some long-term finances or was hoping something was for the long term but it looks like there was some sadness, despair, or some type of issue here that kind of made you sad and in your head here. What's going on here for this? Hmm, you have totally ended out a cycle with the world card twice. You may have needed to do something with two people here. You have the King of Cups who is in reverse and with him in reverse he may be selfish, emotional, manipulative and a little bit of anxious. Maybe some... Oh, okay, it has to do with a lover and it's on the fence for a reason. Perhaps they're thinking about oh, some secrets here that may be revealed because if I turn it this way we have a lover and some secrets revealed and if I go this way they do not have any of that they do not have that lover anymore because there was secrets so either way they go they're going to find something out about a lover and some secrets here so what else do we have for Cappy okay yeah Truth is not coming out here. Mm, can't see it, huh? Might have to go up a little bit more for people to see what they need to see. <clears throat> okay. It's possible um, somebody's having a hard time with their throat chakra. <clears> throat> I'm finding this morning that I'm having to clear my throat quite often. Um, maybe not getting the words out right how you want to speak or something to do with not speaking your truth perhaps or needing to let's see here yeah there's no truth when it comes to something here yeah and somebody is no longer in that um nine of wands energy where there's given up because the challenges seem too hard or they just they gave up uh something was too hard it was they didn't want to do it they they refused to do it actually they refused to do the work so what 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 else do we have for this person okay so 
looks like either this person's standing up for what they believe in or you are and you're setting some boundaries and i feel like that could be throwing this person off they maybe these people that they've dealt with before are lower energies and um who have no self-value in themselves or have self-loathing or are punishing themselves for something they did that they are feeling shame about and knowing that they need to heal that go back have a look at it cry your cry say goodbye say forgiveness or ask for forgiveness depending on what is what if you've hurt somebody or somebody's hurt you and knowing that it's either not your fault or um, maybe you were too young to understand something at the time or the consequences of your action wow boom baby tower coming in hello okay <laughs> So something that was meant to fall is going to fall here with spirit coming in with this tower of Capricorn. And this tower is going to rip down whatever's here that is not meant for you. And I feel like you're going to close out a cycle that is going to bring something else in here. <clears throat> and you may have to close out two cycles and not um take anyone back from your past we have the ten of pentacles in reverse so right now you're building that wealth you haven't reached it yet or you're in the process of it or possibly uh in the future you might start your own business or start something that's going to help you make money um, but at this point you haven't reached your goal in how much money you wanted to make yeah somebody's okay what with, with the death in reverse okay i feel like um this is an unwanted change for somebody somebody did not want this maybe they are losing money as uh from an investment that they had they're very sad about this because this is something that was unwanted here there's fear behind it and they're in their head because of this this self-imposed prison they put themselves in yeah because something's coming out now this is, could be you or this could be your person take it however it's resonating for you the world please for capricorn okay somebody knows there's some lies here and has the strength to tame the beast to go within and know what's what and knowing that they need to still end this whole cycle out because they will never get the truth from this person in fact i bet if they were to look back to the past which the strength card is doing they are going to find out that they never really ever had any truth from this person when they think about it and they've always given this person the benefit of the doubt maybe they were always friends um but are now seeing it could have been waiting for this person even and are now seeing that this person is never going to tell the truth to them is never going to confess how they really feel and is never going to come for you they're always just going to have you as an option as a backup person they could go to if things fall apart for them so you know your worth though and you're no backup person you are the first person in line every time so you let this person go king of cups yeah there's some passion desire here even an epiphany about this king of cups and with them in the reverse they're being selfish emotionally and manip manipulative and min I'm still having troubles with my words so i feel like this person when they come in they might be stepping all over their words and um putting their foot in their mouth event um uh kind of energy so you might need patience with this person and don't react because they're having trouble speaking their truth okay what else about this king of cups in reverse okay so they want 
their ship to come in. They are waiting for that. They may be waiting for you. They don't want to miss this opportunity or they're getting bored where they are with this person, this lover or third party. Yeah. With the two of wands here in reverse, something was held back for your happiness. So your maybe it is your the rejection that you maybe received was for your protection because this person here um, wasn't letting this go, this person go, and they weren't seeing the hidden agenda this person had for them when it comes to things. At first, they may have been really happy with this person, but now they're feeling like they're um, <laughs> being held back. They're not able to move forward because they're not understanding by walking away from this person and ending those cycles, whether this is your person or whether it is you, um, this 10 of pentacles will get better once they're out of this person's energy, okay? So if they have not left somebody here um, and they're looking at the happy times they once had with them, and they're realizing they're not moving forward, that they're back in another karmic cycle. And this tower's here, um, pushing them down a road to see the truth. They need to see the truth. What is the Ace of Swords in reverse here? That's going to be a lot of arguments, lies, hostility towards each other. What is this Ace of Swords in reverse? Yeah, somebody may have said um, that they're not watching you, but they are. They're watching your social media or they are ready to stand up for you in some way, fight for you. Maybe somebody's saying lies about you and they don't like that. It could also be that they're the ones lying to you and they're watching you to see if you know about these lies, perhaps. Okay, so there's wish fulfillment here when it comes to you, but it's on the fence. So they're not doing anything about it. Okay. Yeah, tower in the reverse. So they are not wanting to change. They refuse to learn the lessons. They are in denial that they're even in a karmic um, cycle again. <laughs> and they're back in that poverty. Um, and then they're, they're refusing to um, accept that they're, well, they're not, they're not the wounded warrior because they gave up. And now they're suffering from financial poverty because they're still with this person. They did close out a cycle with someone else here. They may have taken somebody's money here. A little bit of fear here and loss. And something coming to light with the moon card in reverse. And the moon card in reverse is some type of uh, confession or some truth revealed here, and it's put somebody in their head. And when these lies come out, somebody has the strength to close out this cycle. Now, I'm going back over because this could be you or this could be your person, okay? And I kind of feel like this might be your person, Cappy. It's in order to come forward, they have to realize something here that either you're going to close out this cycle because they keep lying and they are waiting for you to find out okay or they're fearful that you're going to find out and then we have once that cycle's closed then you have somebody that's passionate or has an idea about you is waiting for those ships to come in and they don't want to miss that opportunity with you they may still have somebody in their energy that they're thinking about getting rid of, somebody that once made them happy. It could have been even you were the third party, um, that they had you in the third party here. But, yeah, they're being held back regardless because of the 
they're not able to come forward. Yeah, they're still watching you, wanting that wish fulfillment, and they're not willing to change their ways or stop lying. So they're still suffering from this um, Five of Pentacles type of energy. So... <laughs> <clears throat> Knight of Wands in reverse. This is a, a superficial person. I feel like they're kind of I kind of feel like they're really um, how do I <laughs> I'm not sure how to put that um, how they don't have any self-worth superficial No, no self. Yeah. They don't. They're just going to keep lying. I, I kind of feel like they're so superficial. And I feel like people see right through this person. They think they're maybe... Um, putting it over on people, but I'm not so sure people are buying it anymore. What's the seven of wands here? They're not trusting themselves. No, they're putting boundaries up here. Six of swords, they're not walking away though. Why not? They may be stuck on somebody from their past. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling here. They're resisting this change, and this person's really revengeful, angry. I feel like this person, if they were to leave this person, they are going to come after this person in revenge. Or this person's going to come after you because they are revengeful. Why is the Queen of Swords in reverse? Yeah, they have that double energy. And now they could be a Capricorn, another Capricorn. Or it could be that they are trying to bind to you or be tied to you in some way. But I feel like you're meant to let them go. Yeah, they're stuck. They're not able to go anywhere. This tower is going to change everything, though. So I don't feel like this other person is your person either. There might be two people that you may have to walk away from. Somebody's not changing. And somebody's, somebody's going to leave someone else behind that has never told them the truth ever. I feel, and I feel like both energies that um, that have been lying to you, because both have, um, and a toxic situation here, I feel like these two, um, you have a choice in, and it's not going to be up to you. You can either take one or the other, or leave them both, I feel, and just do this on your own because I feel like you could do whatever you're doing by yourself hmm. well, let's do some love cards here and see what comes up for this for Capricorns how much time we've we been oh wow 
Okay, so somebody might ask you to go for a coffee. Um, they may have traditional um, thinking, like outdated thinking. They're not in the 21st century. <laughs> um, they're replaying events over in their head here. They've been conditioned to have a certain way of thinking, I think, here. And that's kind of hard for somebody um, when they won't let go of that uh, type of thinking where it's going to keep them from moving forward. Yeah, endings bring new beginnings. So there is a death to this. I feel like you let this person tell you how they feel and maybe you go and go for a coffee with them. But in the end, you find out what this is about and you're going to end it here. There's going to be a change, a liberation, a transition. Okay. And there's an there's an engagement ring. They may even ask you to marry them and claim that, well, maybe they are your soulmate. Maybe you do have a contract with them that needs to end once and for all. And then we have girl talk. These people, um, you're going to be happily single, living uh, in the moment, having fun, moving on. And you're going to move away from this person. Regardless that they are a soulmate and they've offered you to marry you. Yeah, you are looking for that passionate love here. You're waiting for your ships to come in because you're not going to miss this new person coming in or you do not want to. Let's see. Yeah, this person though um, could be um, doing their self-worth. Uh, focusing on that, or you could be your shadow work. What's the two of wands in reverse? Stabbed in the back. Yeah, heartbreak, pain, separation. Okay, so this could be this. This could be you here. You're waiting for that great love. This is in the heart of the reading, and I feel like this is you, Capricorn. Doing yourself love, doing what you're meant to do, loving on yourself. And this other person that is coming in for you, they are dealing with somebody, a third party here. They're learning some secrets or some truth or having a com somebody's confessing. And this person thought this person was their 10 of cups, but with the two of wands in reverse, they're realizing they are being held back because somebody has stabbed them in the back. And there is a separation here. Somebody is leaving this person behind. Now, why is all this here? They're watching you. They may not know the truth about you, that you're meant to be this person's wish fulfillment. And this tower in reverse could possibly be um, a denial that you're their wish fulfillment. Yeah, death to the situation. No second chances here. Yeah, separation here. They they never told you the truth. What's the Knight of Wands in reverse? Golden mirror. Yeah, they're self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, and love bombing. And now they are in that uh, lack mindset. And you do not see this person as a wounded warrior, and you just see them acting badly. Um, and with the Knight of Wands in reverse, I kind of feel like you see this person for who they truly are. They're, sur they're superficial and they have no self-control. Let's see, the Golden Mirror, yeah, a narcissist. And you may have PST, PTSD because of this person. So you've left this person, there's separation, there's an ending. Let's see, we have standing up for yourself or what you believe in. Let's have a look here. Six of swords in reverse <clears throat> is an ego hit here. So, or no, it's not, sorry. It's uh, stuck in the past, that's right. 
they are stuck in the past and it might be with this queen of swords in the reverse who is dangerous deceitful <laughs> and malicious revengeful angry they have that devil attitude to get revenge or to it even could be uh physical abuse it could be it's toxic in any case but it looks like cupid's arrow is coming in here and somebody's receiving something here progression arriving moving on closing issues when it comes to matters of the heart and then we have a heart with the key welcoming love meeting the one open your heart and, and I feel like you have never closed off your heart completely yeah the sword and the rose clarity truth yeah I feel like you are going to be um, on your own it says so uh, solidarity and I feel like you're going to be on your own I feel like you're gonna walk away from all these um, people that are no longer serving you you're focused on love and love is the highest frequency of all yeah these people are going to have a shit storm here <laughs> with this tower here and, and I feel like it, everything is gonna be just ripped right down and exposed so happy things are moving now I feel like um I feel like things are coming up now where you're going to see where you need to be and it might just be a mindset you may not even have to talk to this person it may even be just a mindset that you have realized who this person is to you and you're looking back on all the different uh, treatments that you had from this person you're realizing your part in it you are working through all of that the triggers and the anger and the upset and the resentment <clears throat> and the love that you felt for this person you are dealing with all of those things and when you get to a point of there's no blame there's no um anger towards this person anymore you know now that you are at a higher vibration where maybe you weren't in that energy before and this these people here have helped you realize your self-worth capricorn by them treating you so badly and maybe you've been through a narcissist before and you are starting to see um how you react to people that are like this perhaps you had one growing up in your life but in any case um this self-absorbed narcissist is going to try to manipulate you no matter what and maybe even trigger you into reacting in a bad way to say see i told you they were crazy they want to get you out of character because they are so determined to show other people that you are not who you who you say you are and they're wrong they're wrong that's all i can say is they're wrong about you you are not the same person as you maybe once were so Capricorn, let's do some Romance Angels and see what comes up of this. Okay. Let go of control issues. Yeah, stop trying to navigate through this on your own. Um, just let things come naturally. Uh, don't try to say okay i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna meet my person or i'm gonna you know look for my person this person's going to find you give your relationship a chance and flirt so by letting go of control and just being maybe just looking at people as friendship uh -huh, but there's passion here hmm let us see here Okay, love yourself first, yes, and unrequited love. So you know 
uh, when somebody has unrequited love for you. I feel like you pick up on things a lot more than people realize you do. You see them for who they are. Maybe they don't pay attention that you are seeing them for who they are. But you do. In any case, you see right through people. This is a gift. Somebody's going through a separation. If it's not you, it is your person. Yeah, because there is deception here. Maybe in their life or in this. Yeah, there's other religious factors as well. So they may not. They may not be spiritual, and maybe you are, maybe they're religious, and there's a separation here. Somebody feels, yeah, I feel like you see this person and the false mask they were wearing. Like I said, you could see right through these people. But I feel like they do not like what you do for a living, whether you are spiritual or religious, Whatever it is that you're doing when it comes to spirituality or uh, religion, they don't like it. Maybe you're a tarot reader. Maybe they don't. They feel like that's devil's work. Um, I'm not sure why that is because anybody that knows uh, what tarot is about, they would know that tarot is anything but <laughs> um, devil's work because it is the work of the Lord, of Jesus Christ and God, or whoever you believe in to be your God. Now, I say spirit because everybody has different religions. So when I say spirit, it is the highest frequency um, that you believe in, okay? So I feel like this person, they may be in separation with you, but it's because of this deception. And they may have tried to stop you from your calling. I feel like maybe you are somebody that does, maybe it is a tarot reader I'm picking up on. But in any case, whatever you're doing, they tried to stop you from doing that. Maybe you were going to do your own business, your tarot business, and maybe they tried to slow that down or stop you from doing that or wasn't going to accept you because of that reason. Let's see. This could have been a soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So everybody has a lot of soulmates throughout their life. And soulmates are here to kind of teach you lessons okay a twin flame you're able to see and break patterns maybe have an ego breakdown you may share beliefs in spirituality and you mirror each other so what you see in this person you also see in yourself good bad and the ugly okay in a soulmate it's very easy it's like best friends it's like a soul family a deep warm safe and comfy type of relationship it's like a deep soul connection, like you've known this person before when you have a soulmate connection. So, and the twin flame is a much harder connection. Um, I've had a twin flame connection and what surprised me was that I am of the light and I really felt that my twin flame was dark. I didn't like their energy. In fact, there was a lot of things that I didn't like about this person. But then on the other hand, I also saw some of those things in me and like, wow, that's not a good look. I'm not doing that again. 333 three, three on the clock as I'm saying this. So this is about growth. 333 three, three, or the number three is creativity, groups, and growth. So I feel like from this dealing with this person and their group of people. Um, there was jealousy here over your creativity. And maybe somebody in their group wasn't fond of you, but there was a lot of growth because of these relationships you've had of late. And you're understanding that if you are spiritual, I feel like this huge calling for you, nobody's going to stop you from doing what you're being called to do. Whether they like what you do or not, 
if this person isn't on your page and in your energy of what you're doing is a good thing and they don't accept what you do, they're not for you. You're going to find somebody that doesn't think you're crazy because you um, talk to spirit or you get downloads or you're a tarot reader or whatever it is, whether you're psychic, have gifts, whatever. Whatever the case is, you're not going to let anybody stop you from doing what you've been called to do. And you're meant to do certain things in this lifetime. You're fated to. It's destination. It's destiny. And I feel like in this, you're going to find your person. Okay. But like I said, there's some uh, deaths that have to come. But the world card here. And it came out twice. So you might have to say goodbye to two energies. And like I said, it does not have to be face to face. You can actually say, look, I know this person has never told me the truth. When I look back at all the encounters I've had with this person, they've lied to me. I've realized what this person's doing, um, making other people jealous um, by using me as a means of doing so. Um, they may have lied about who they've been with in the past and you find out that they lied and they're not willing to stand up for their lies or I don't know. But in any case, you all have to say is I'm cut clearing and canceling this energy from me. They have never been good to me. They do not deserve my love and I am letting them go. Please clear, cancel and delete this energy. I am cutting this cord and be done with it. Okay. And, and mean it, mean what you're saying about this person. They haven't been a good friend to you. Let them go. And when you do that, and <laughs> you're going to feel a lot better, lighter and better about yourself. And then when you do this again for this other separation and um, ending that you have, like I said, the same thing is true. Again, you can just say it as much and cancel clear and delete this energy, cut the cord, cut that cord to that person. You're not going back to anyone from your past. If that's the case, I'm only moving forward and stand by it. Don't waver from that. And anyone that comes back from your past, let them go. Okay. If they're meant to come back, they'll come back. Ask spirit, what am I going to do about this? Is this my person? They will give you the answer. And even if it's in angel numbers, you can look up that angel number and find out what the answer is. You can ask questions and look up the numbers and they will tell you the answer to it. So there are many ways of doing things. Speaking to spirit is going to help you with this. Tell them what you want, who you don't want, what you're going to do about it, and how you're going to transmute that love or that <clears throat> negative energy into love. And maybe you're an alchemist. Maybe you need to transmute that love to light. Love and light. Come out of the darkness into the light. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... You're going to get this though. I don't feel like you're going to miss out on anything that is meant to come to you. You will let these people go like you are meant to. They are not worth your time or effort. Okay. And they certainly don't uh, deserve your love, especially when you love so deeply. So, and wholeheartedly and only want that in return. So you're good people. Cappies are good. We kind of get a shitty kind of light to us sometimes because they it's all about the money, yada, yada, yada. No, anybody that is a cappy and isn't, well, I mean, it's not like you're not going to go after what you want for work. You may, you may not. It may, you may not find what you're meant to do yet. 
you may be still in that mode of discovering this. But in any case, I feel like you're going to find this. I feel like it's going to be in this next month. They're going to have some realizations about stuff. Might be a couple months after that. And things are really going to change for you. I, I can't explain why I'm saying that. I just have this knowing. It's going to be March-ish, March-April, that things are, maybe you'll find your person. Okay, Capricorn, I'm going to leave it there. This is way longer than I thought. I got some major channeling when I, when I ended the reading. So um, if you like what I'm doing, please like, share, and subscribe. Give me that thumbs up. And I wanted to have the uh, bird's eye view here uh, because I know a lot of people like to see the cards and some of the angles I've had in the past you haven't really seen them I don't know if you guys like to see me on camera or you just want to see your cards or and get your messages that way maybe you guys can comment in the comment section below um, whether you want to see me in person and have the readings or if you'd like to see the cards and have the readings or um, what you'd like to see when it comes to my readings. I would love your input. And uh, yeah, stay blessed, you guys. We will see you guys next time. All right, later.